Hi, in this video I will show how to block users using IP pools. We define the IP pools uh, where we need to block and it will be applied only for users which are connected on radius and with the dynamic IP addresses. Here we have the IP pools for blocking and let's uh, first change the customer and let's uh, disconnect this customer and then we will change this customer uh, that he will be and I'm disconnecting it and now I'm going to change him uh, his to dynamic IP addresses. So he is active customer and I'm going to change his service and instead of private range I will change him to dynamic. So with this dynamic I'm able to give different pools and when I block customer I will place, I will put him diff uh, other pool, the pool special for blocking. Here we have this customer when he connects to the PPPoE he will get IP from the normal pool which is routable. So this is 10, 10, 18, 0 slash 24 and that's my customer I can see his IP address on online sessions yeah, he is now and I he can navigate he can s use the internet when I block this user he will get the IP from the special pool um, and that pool I can define on the settings on splings here this reject pool is used for uh, blocking customers so 10 250 it starts and now I'm going to block it. When I save it I will see that this customer is disconnected as a first stage and at the second stage he will get the new IP address from that predefined pool. Connect, type the password, yes and so the customer is authenticated but he is blocked so he got IP address 10250 from and 251 this is the IP pool and now I can apply the rule for redirection and I can send this customer to the page which will say pay your uh, money to account and your account will be activated so thank you for your time